Well, Lou Depot back here again, and we're going to talk a little bit about thermostats now. And the, the basic thermostat has four letters in the back of it, and that's going to be R, W, G, and Y. And R is simply the return line. Or half of the transformer line. The transformer has two lines coming out of it down by the boiler room. With two screws that give 24 volts out. One of the lines are going to the R. Or the hot line or the return line on the thermostat. The W simply stands for white. The G stands for green. And the yellow, and the Y stands for what yellow. <clears throat> Although, the white is heat. The green is your system fan. And the yellow is normally your air conditioning, central air conditioning, AC, or if there's an A-coil in a hot air furnace. And what any thermostat does is it simply shorts out the proper wire to the R or the return line. Now you could easily take the thermostat off the wall and you would see sticking out of the wall a red and a white if you have heat only. If you also have air conditioning, central air conditioning, There'll be a red, a white, a green, and a yellow. There'll be four wires sticking out. And that red wire controls everything. If you were to twist the red and the white together, the heat would come on. That's what the thermostat does when you turn it up. It touches the red and the white together. If you were to twist the red and the green together, the system fan would come on. You may want to do that during a party if everybody's smoking. If you were to twist the red, green, and the yellow together, this is with the thermostat off the wall now, your air conditioning would come on. So the thermostat simply shorts the proper two wires together. That's all it does. And why these are lettered this way is for color coding. W is white, G is green, yellow is, is air conditioning. And it's that simple. <clears throat> There are thermostats now that are a lot more um, complicated. There's two-stage thermostats Well, you'll have a second Y, or they'll call it Y1 and Y2. And basically what a second-stage thermostat is, is it has the ability to turn on one more thing. Normally, if it's a heat pump, it'll be a two-stage heat pump where uh, it's an uh, essential air conditioning system that actually runs the Freon or the refrigerant in reverse in the winter, and it heats your house in the winter as, long, as well as cools it in the summer. But sometimes it's extremely cold out, so they have these compressors to save energy. They have them run at a smooth, simple speed. But sometimes it's not enough if it's real cold out, and they'll have a second speed. It's called a two-stage pump, or a two-stage heat pump. And for that, you need a two-stage compressor where the second Y, or the Y2, comes into play. And the thermostat knows it on its own, because if you're trying to heat the house, and the thermostat's on 71, and it never reaches that 71, it, on its own, kicks in and shorts Y2 out to the R and causes the compressor or the air conditioning heat pump to go into that second stage of that faster speed. Sometimes it's two compressors and it'll run the second compressor, but most times it's one compressor with two speeds. And that's what a two-stage thermostat will do. These are also good for efficiency if you have a boiler that you may not want it to fire all the time because it maintains water and you, you may want it to just heat the house, you, you can have an electrician run a two-stage thermostat and have Y2 on the thermostat 
go to TNT on the boiler where it fires the boiler only when it's necessary. Uh, if the water is 160 degrees in there and you turn up a regular thermostat that may fire the boiler, where a two-stage thermostat will just now turn on the circulator and give you heat and then, if necessary, fire the boiler. That's what's fantastic about a two-stage. It's very, very efficient and saves you a lot of money. But that's really all a thermostat is. It shorts the wire out to the return wire, causing something to go on, whether it be the fan, the heat, a circulator pump, air conditioning. Another quick way of wiring a zone on a boiler. Now this is different. That we were talking about a 24 volt thermostat there. Now this is a line voltage thermostat. Line voltage thermostats are a little different. They're not really as accurate. But basically what they have is two wires sticking off of them. And to add a zone to a boiler, instead of going crazy with all the relays and the controls, it's very, very simple. You have your boiler, and you add a circulator pump on it. The circulator pump has two wires sticking off of it. Well, if you steal power from basically almost anywhere, it could even be an outlet. Because that's got a black and a neutral. What you would do is run, if you run the neutral and the black directly to the circulator, it would run all the time and, of course, get way too hot. But how you wire in the line voltage thermostat, it's as simple as running the wires right to the circulator, then taking a pair of dikes or a scissor and cutting the black power line so the circulator shuts off, and simply wire it up to one wire of the line voltage thermostat. Remember, there's 120 volts. And the other wire back down to the other end of your cut. Now, the power has been disrupted going into the circulator pump, and it cannot run the pump until this thermostat says so. And when you put the dial up, it simply joins these two wires together inside itself. That's it. Your zone is wired. One line voltage thermostat, no controls.